Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Hawaii Pacific University's fall commencement ceremony at Aloha Tower Marketplace. As you get situated, we have a few housekeeping items to mention. If you self-parked at Aloha Tower Marketplace, please visit the elite parking tent located next to the old spaghetti factory lanai to validate and pay for your parking. If you parked across the street in the Topa Tower parking structure, you won't need to validate anything. You'll simply pay a flat rate on your exit. Restrooms are located in the back of the seating section next to the Pier 10 terminal or at the front of the seating section next to the security office. Please follow signs accordingly. 
And lastly, if there are any open seats to your right, we kindly ask you to move to that seat now to ensure that everyone still coming in can easily find and access seats. We will be starting the ceremony in approximately 30 minutes.
supposed to do I got that boom boom that all the boys say all the right junk in all the right places I see the magazine working that photoshop we know that stuff ain't real come on now make it stop if you got beauty beauty just raise them up to every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top yeah my mama she told me don't worry about your size Cause you know I'm all about that. 
Hawaii Pacific University has a great story to tell. And to help us share this story, we partnered with legendary Hawaiian artists and storytellers of Sig Zane Designs. We asked them to help us illustrate our mission, our core values, our long-standing deep ties to our aina and our local culture. We really like this project because it aligned so closely to what we do. Our first step is to be able to do the research of place. And we work with my mom, Melanie Kanafaole, to be able to understand what are those intricacies of that ahupua or that area. And when we look at the, the site of Hawaii Pacific University, we look back and we see Nu'uanu. Well, Nu'uanu is, is a, a perfect example of uh, an ahupua that has water, has the ocean, has every part that is so important to its survival. We begin to research really all about that place. We really start to then get into the details. We, we kind of narrowed things down to five elements that we felt were most important to the university and also to place. And so one of them is the kumuvai. Kumuvai is a, a rather large term. If we think about that literally, it means the source of water. In that native perspective, the kumu, or the source, really is uh, that water that nourishes. And vai uh, is like the flow of knowledge to the student. From the kumu vai, uh, we have a kaha vai. And that all is that process from the top to the bottom, basically. And the kahava is the waterways. So we look at that as a parallel as from that source, from the teacher to the student. The waterfall comes down and it nurtures the lands below. So same thing with the teacher and the student. is a, a very important term. We chose that one to represent all of the values of Hawaii Pacific University. The water that comes from the top is going to be pure, but it must also be the same quality at the bottom. So same thing with the, uh, the values that the university has, aloha, pono, and kuleana. It is not just diverting water. It is intentful gathering of a specific water that is intently going to nourish the student. Maka has many meanings and I think that from the general look of the logo immediately you see two pieces of it that really kind of stand out. We felt that it was really important for the teacher and student to have that relationship. That nurturing, that confidence between the two of them is really important. We come from hula and lama is really important for us. For us, it is everything. It is enlightenment. It is what we want to achieve. I chose lama for everyone to understand that that's where we want to be. In the logo, all the lines of the image are really the veins of the leaves. And so we felt that tying this very important principle to that logo is something that everyone would benefit from. We're just thrilled with our logo because it tells a story of what we do, where we're from, our people, our values, our place, and it combines our ties to Hawaii and our local culture with our mission to educate students to be global leaders. weird I'm not ready for it like I thought I was gonna be ready for it starting to get emails of saying congratulations graduate I was like 
Oh, I'm actually graduating. <laughs> I'm so happy that um, mahalo, mahalo ho, everybody who supported me. Thank you. It's crazy. I'm just so overwhelmed. It, it was fun. It has been fun. The whole experience is amazing. It's super exciting because like to finally start my career as a nurse. Yeah, I'm so excited to uh, get out into the real world and like experience like new things. Woo! Lots of big things coming. So. I'm excited about that. Um, I feel really excited. Uh, it's been a long time coming, and I hope my family's really proud of what I've done. Time flies, and then four years later, I can't believe I finally did it. I'm really sad to leave Hawaii, but I'm also really excited to start the next chapter of my life with my degree. I made a lot of friends, made a lot of connections. I'm very excited to graduate, find a job, and also pay off my loans and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to go on that stage and like start and like get my diploma and just grab it and go. I'm like ready. So exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats so that everyone may enjoy the ceremony. If there's an open seat to your right, we kindly ask you to move to that seat to ensure that everyone can easily find and access seats. Throughout the ceremony, please remain seated and keep the aisles and walkways clear. A professional photographer will take photos of your graduates as they cross the stage today, and a free photo will be available online to graduates. The audience may take photos and videos from their seats. At the close of the ceremony, the graduates will march in the recessional to the meet and greet area behind the stage and Aloha Tower. For your safety and the safety of others, please stay in your seats until the recessional is complete. At that time, I will notify you that you are more than welcome to join your graduates and the festivities in the meet and greet area. And at this point, there's nothing left for you to do other than sit back, relax, and help us celebrate the graduates.
Please be seated. Aloha. My name is Jennifer Walsh, and I'm the Senior Vice President and Provost. On behalf of the faculty, staff, students, President and Trustees of Hawaii Pacific University, I'm honored to welcome you to the university's 93rd commencement ceremony celebrating the graduation of the fall class of 2019. We begin this celebration with a Hawaiian chant and hula, followed by the singing of the national anthem and Hawaii Ponoe. Music for today will be sung by the HPU International Vocal Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Alex Schumacher, with accompaniment by the HPU Hawaiian Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Teresa McCreary. International Vocal Ensemble soloist Sarah Johnson will sing the national anthem and Athena Iokepa will sing Hawaii Ponoe. I now present to you Tracy Lopez, HPU instructor of Hawaiian language and the HPU Hula Ensemble. sail into the next week of our life and pass the rest of the year with all the fair winds to take you to where we're going and we'd like to shalomani yakapu
And now if you're able to rise, please rise for the singing of the national anthem in Hawaii Ponoi. Please be seated. Aloha. Graduates, I am pleased to celebrate this special occasion with you as we are gathered today among loved ones, supporters, and friends. For many of you graduating from college with an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or a doctoral degree, is the culmination of a lifelong dream. Many of you are trailblazers within your families, the first to embark on the journey to college. If I may indulge just for a moment, if you are the first in your family to graduate with a college degree, would you mind standing so we can recognize you? We celebrate the significant accomplishment with you. Many of you completed your studies while also participating in ROTC, actively serving in the military, or returning to college as a veteran. If you are a veteran or currently serving in our nation's armed forces, would you also please stand so we can recognize you. We thank you for your selfless sacrifice for our country. Many of you also juggled class time, homework, projects, midterms, and finals while also working and taking care of others. If you completed your studies while serving as a caretaker 
or holding down a part-time or full-time job, will you please stand so we can recognize you? Thank you. We applaud your dedication and your stamina. Finally, we know that many of you had friends and family members cheering you on during your time at HPU. Guests, if you provided financial support, psychological support, or emotional support to a graduating student here today, if you are able, can we ask you to stand so we can recognize you? Guests. All of us are grateful for you. No matter what path you pursued while completing your studies at HPU, we recognize your tremendous accomplishments and celebrate those who helped you get to where you are today. Graduates, it's only fitting that we hold commencement here at Aloha Tower, the symbolic heart of our university's campus and the very place where many of you embarked on your HPU journey four years ago. At the new student candle lighting ceremony, you pledged to commit yourself to being an outstanding student, to seize opportunities in and out of the classroom, and to represent yourself and your university with honor and respect. Thank you for keeping that commitment. Likewise, your university ohana of faculty and staff pledged to you to expand your ability to communicate clearly, to think critically, to solve problems effectively, to inspire you and to move forward with truth, and to prepare you to live, work, and learn as active members of the global society. We renew that commitment to you today. Hailing from many different states and nations, you came to HPU as individuals with goals and aspirations and pledged to be a part of a community that prides itself on bringing people of diverse backgrounds together to engage in meaningful learning experiences. We trust that throughout your academic journey, you have grown as individuals, personally and professionally, through the influence of your HPU Ohana. Today, your HPU Ohana surrounds you. To your left and your right are your classmates. Across the aisle are your faculty. On the stage are your college deans, and throughout the venue are HPU staff your friends, your mentors, and your advocates. Shortly, you will walk across the stage and become graduates of Hawaii Pacific University. Afterward, you will recite the words of the Alumni Pledge as HPU's newest alumni, ready to act pono by upholding righteousness and integrity in your communities, to tend to your kuleana by taking responsibility for your actions and looking out for others and to spread the message of aloha by showing endless compassion to all. Graduates, at the end of today, we won't say goodbye, but rather a hui ho, or until we meet again. Congratulations, HPU Fall Class of 2019. Now, before we perform the official ceremony that grants you to degrees, we are pleased to introduce the leadership groups of our university. First, I'm proud to introduce members of Hawaii Pacific University's Board of Trustees. Chairman Richard Hunter, Trustee Jeff Baromisa, Trustee Don Takaki, and Trustee Emeritus Do Dr. Alan Zeka. Trustees, please rise and be recognized. Next, it's my privilege to introduce Hawaii Pacific University's distinguished faculty. Our deans, faculty and deans, please rise and be recognized. It's also a special pleasure to introduce the 2019 Teacher of the Year Assistant Professor of Political Science, Dr. Nock Fawn. Please rise and be recognized. <laughs> now, 
We also welcome the vice presidents and senior administrators of the university. Will you please rise and be recognized? I'm honored to introduce our commencement speaker, Major General Arthur Joe Logan. We look forward to his remarks later in this morning's program. General Logan, please rise and be recognized. <laughs> President John Gotanda will be conferring your degrees. President Gotanda is committed to an innovative approach to higher education that empowers students to get up close and personal with the subjects they're passionate about. President Gotanda, please rise and be recognized. And now we proceed with one of the most special traditions of commencement at Hawaii Pacific University, the opportunity to hear from graduating students who've been chosen to serve as valedictory speakers. Representing our undergraduate student body is Christine Tamayo. In addition to actively engaging uh, in HBU activities and fundraising and volunteering for community organizations in Hawaii, including Hawaii Pacific Health and Blood Bank of Hawaii, Tamayo has committed to building a career in nursing. Over the last 10 years, she gained experience as a nursing assistant, priding herself on delivering high quality patient care and excellent customer service. Tamayo will soon move to Washington to become a cardiac telemetry nurse. Christine? Please join me. Aloha and good morning, President Gotanda. Board of Trustees, and the deans and faculty members of this great institution. And of course, a warm welcome to Hawaii Pacific University's graduating class of fall 2019. <laughs> I am truly honored to be given this opportunity to be a part of today's special ceremony. And until this very day, my parents had no clue that I was chosen to deliver the undergraduate valedictory speech. Surprise! Without your loving support and investment in me, I would not be where I am today. I'm very blessed to be your daughter, and I love you both deeply. To all the parents, guardians, friends, and loved ones, I would like to thank you all on behalf of our graduating class for the continued support and many sacrifices you have made for our education. Today is not only a day to celebrate our accomplishments, but to honor all our families as well. This is also for you. HPU has laid a foundation for our teachers. For me, it is a profession in nursing, allowing me the privilege of serving others back to health. For some, it's a career in business, future entrepreneurs and CEOs, and for others, it's providing resources and assisting people of all ages with a degree in social work. Let's take a moment to reflect on all our hard work and perseverance that has brought us here today. Let us continue to be driven and always strive to be better versions of ourselves. Like many graduates here, I have made lifetime friends. We have bonded over endless studying, self-care at Shurakia, anxiously calculating our grades once exam scores are posted, I am positive that many of us could be diagnosed with altered mental status related to stress overload as evidenced by sleep deprivation, social isolation, and imbalanced nutrition. In other words, lots of stress and a lot of stress eating over the years. To the nursing department, filled with outstanding professors and clinical instructors, I would like to thank you all Thank you on behalf of my classmates and I. To my nursing graduates, who I've seen more than my very own family, you have kept me sane, and I could have not done it without you, especially my nursing sisters. <laughs> Today I stand here as living proof that anything is possible with an amazing support system and a lot of Starbucks coffee. 
During my time as an HBU student and throughout my career, I'll be constantly reminded of how precious life is. We're naturally caught up with our daily lives and caring for others that we often forget to take care of ourselves. I want to remind you again today that we only have one life to live, so let's make it worth it. Do what makes you happy and cherish every moment. So when we look back, we won't only remember our accomplishments, but the feelings we got when we spent time with loved ones, went on an adventure, and tried something new. All our hard work has led up to this very moment, and it's just the beginning. Congratulations again to us, Fall 2019. Thank God, and God bless. Mahalo. Thank you, Christine, for your thoughtful remarks and representing your fellow graduates so well. Speaking on behalf of our graduate students is Kit Yu Wong. In addition to pursuing her master's degree at HPU, Wong teaches high school economics and is the acad academic dean of social studies and mathematics at Marinol School. Wong credits the HPU MED and educational leadership program with helping her to become a stronger teacher and leader, learning with and from educators of different backgrounds and experiences, challenging her to reflect on educational trends and issues and inspiring her to continue improving her craft. Please help me welcome Kit. Aloha and good morning, administration, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, friends, family, and fellow graduates. It is my honor to stand before you today representing not only the Masters in Educational Leadership Program here at this wonderful institution, but all of the graduate programs represented in the fall class of 2019. Today marks an important milestone in the, all of our lives. Graduates, congratulations on this significant achievement in the pursuit of your dreams and passions. Today is our day. But today does not belong to just us. Our journey here may have differed greatly, but we all got to this moment because of the people who believed in us, pushed us, helped us, and cheered us on. To my loving parents and supportive husband, Kurt, to all parents, grandparents, spouses, children, friends, and mentors, thank you for your love, support, and sacrifice. Today is also your day. As I reflected upon my personal journey here, I realized that I chose the life of an educator because my teachers have been some of the most inspirational and influential people in my life. My teachers have nurtured my love for learning, encouraged me to try new things, and taught me the importance of diligence and grit. I want to extend a sincere thank you to all my professors here at Hawaii Pacific University for helping me grow as an educator. Your wisdom and guidance have been invaluable and the knowledge I have gained will continue to help me enrich the lives of all my students. Just like how not all superheroes wear capes, not all teachers are found in classrooms. To all the teachers in our lives, Thank you for helping us grow into the best version of ourselves. Class of 2019, as we move forward from today, let us remember to be grateful for the people and blessings we have in our lives. Choosing to be grateful is a simple but powerful thing. Among other benefits, gratitude is strongly associated with greater happiness, better mental and physical health, and stronger connections with those around us. But let us not stop at just gratitude, because this is bigger than us. Let us use our talents so that we too can help others. In a world where we can choose to be anything, let us choose to be kind. As we all know, the future is not set in stone. Tomorrow may bring new challenges and people who are not necessarily in our corner. We may get tremendous opportunities or face obstacles that seem insurmountable. If or when that day comes, let us rise up to the call 
and choose courage over comfort. Class of 2019, in the words of my newfound idol, Brene Brown, I challenge you to show up, let yourself be seen, and be courageous each and every day. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Kit, for inspiring us and for representing your fellow graduates so well. At this time, the university is pleased to welcome your keynote speaker and fellow HPU alumnus, Major General Arthur Joe Logan. Major General Arthur Lo Joe Logan enlisted in the U.S. Army Reserve in 1978 and received his commission in 1984 from the Hawaii Army National Guard Officer Candidate School, Hawaii Military Academy. Over his 41-year distinguished career in the military, General Logan has held leadership positions in Hawaii and abroad. As Adjutant General Hawaii from 2015 to 2019, General Logan oversaw the training and readiness of 5,500 Hawaii National Guard soldiers and airmen, and he also served as Homeland Security Advisor to the Governor and the Director of Hawaii Emergency Management Agency. General Logan was deployed to Afghanistan as part of the Operation Enduring Freedom from 2007-2008, serving as Commander Regional Police Advisory Command to the Afghan Central Region. On that tour, he mentored an Afghan two-star police commander who was responsible for 22,000 Afghan national police across 10 provinces. From 1982 to 2002, he concurrently served in the Honolulu Police Department and in 1997 received the Honolulu Police Department's Bronze Medal of Merit. General Logan earned his bachelor's degree from Hawaii Pacific University and a master's degree from the U.S. Army War, War College. The numerous U.S. decorations and badges awarded to General Logan include the Legion of Merit Bronze Star and Meritorious Service Medal. Please join me in welcoming General Logan. Aloha, good morning. Uh, Dr. Quintana, President of the University, Senior Vice President, Provost Dr. Walsh, the Board of Trustees, fellow trustees, Dean of the various colleges, faculty, staff, vice presidents, professors, adjuncts, family and friends, good morning, aloha, and especially to the graduating class of 2019, mahalo again for the opportunity, the opportunity to be a keynote address at the Hawaii Pacific University. And I say again, because I did this several years ago when I first started as the Adjutant General, and now I get to do it as I close out my career and retire. And so very fitting, thank you for the opportunity, Dr. Quintanda. I'd like to say congratulations to all of you receiving your degrees, at least at the bachelor and associate level, because you now join part of the US population that has a, earned a college degree, and there's only 30% of you throughout the world. I said, I would like to thank the 308 of you that are, although not all of you are here today, but thank you for the, the challenge and opportunities that you are about to give yourselves. And thank you to the family and friends that spent all the time and energy to get to where you are today. And I understand that about 50 of you are either veterans currently serving military or family of veterans, and thank you for serving and honoring your country. You know, Ernest Hemingway, he's a journalist turned novelist, wrote many short stories, novels, and poems about love and war, but also about great loss. In 1952, he was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for literature for one of his more famous books, The Old Man and the Sea, which he wrote while he was living in Cuba and in Spain and other parts of Europe. Ernest Hemingway traveled the world, living in such places as Africa, the United States, along with Cuba and the Europe. What's most impressive about Mr. Hemingway is how his, not how his journey ended, uh, but it's how he lived his life during his journey. So a quote from Ernest Hemingway goes like this. It's good to have an end to journey toward, but it's the journey that matters in the end. So the question I pose to all of you here today is what impact will this institution of Hawaii Pacific University have on your journey? I could easily speak for hours, 
after hearing my bio and all the things that I have done. But then that would only be scratching the surface of what I have done over the last 40 years. But more importantly, you're here to graduate. And so I know your family and friends are waiting to see you cross the stage, stage as well as yourself. So I will follow the simple three Bs of public speaking. Be brief, be brilliant, be brilliant and be gone. To further exploit, ex exploit the number three, I have three lessons to cover with you today. These lessons started, as was stated earlier, when I graduated from high school and joined the Army Reserve at 19. I didn't know how my journey was going to go. I didn't have any idea that I could enter the Army as a private and in 35 years later become a two-star general and basically the CEO of the Hawaii National Guard. And we do that in throughout the United States. In America, you, you can join an organization such as McDonald's or conglomeration and start at the lowest level and work all the way to the top. And I'm sure that all of you graduating today will have that same opportunity. The first lesson I would like to talk to you about is being about a passion, a passion for what you're going to do. You're now graduating in a career field uh, of, that you chose to do. So when you go out, don't look for the job. Look for a career, a, pr a passion that you would like to do. Simon Sinek is an author and motivational speaker. And he espouses that you should not choose a job, but choose an organization and a boss, somebody that you wouldn't want to get behind and support through. And next thing you know, you'll turn a 20-year, 30-year, 40-year career in your life's journey. And when that is over, you'll look back and you'll say, wow, the time surely flies. Um, but we had fun doing that. But whether you're in nursing, engineering, gaming, criminal justice, computer science, or teaching, or there are many other careers opportunities here, you need to figure out what that journey is going to be and understand for the foreseeable future that you have a, a wonderful career ahead of you. I remember after I enlisted in the Army and I went off to training, came home back to Oahu, and I was assigned to the unit there in Waikiki. And so our first annual training, or two weeks that we had active duty time, as a young private, I had to drive officers to and from Waikiki up to Schofield Barracks as we were constructing buildings for uh, the Army. And so I had no idea, I didn't, the Army did not send me to school to be a driver, they sent me to school to be a draftsman. But here I am as the lowest ranking guy, and sometimes certain types of matter flows downhill, and so you get the least job that anybody wants. So there I was driving officers back and forth two hours a day. Well, that doesn't sound challenging, but it does. It, what is challenging is you're driving two hours in Hawaii's traffic Monday through Friday with people you barely know and know, by the way, they're your boss. But I looked at it, that as an opportunity. So doing that two hours, I got to know these officers. I got to talk to them about life, who they were, what their families were, how their education and what they like to do in their off time. And what I discovered in that, that the end of that week as I was driving them around is they were no more intelligent than I was. The only difference between those officers and me was a college degree. And so I took it upon myself when I got through with those two weeks. And I chose an institution such as this, Hawaii Pacific University, that's highly respected for it and known for its diversity and creating global leaders of the future. And then I got my degree from this institution and I've never looked back. But it's because of my passion, my passion to serve and to get that college degree that ultimately turned a profession into a successful career. The second lesson I'd like to pass on, you already know, and it was earlier expressed by your valedictorian, and that is to surround yourself with the people that will motivate and challenge you to be better than you are. They need to be challenge you to be the best person, whether you're an employee, a friend, a sibling, a spouse, a parent, or even a university graduate. Your family and friends that you may have learned, or your family and friends that you have developed over the early stages, those friends that you learned in high school and your neighborhood. I had the pleasure of having two brothers, and we pushed each other hard, both in the police department and in the National Guard. And I can thank them for where I am today. My third and final lesson, which I believe will have the most profound impact on your future, is not to focus on being the CEO or the adjutant general, but more importantly to focus on that initial job that you get and work at it as hard as you can. The, the rungs of ladder in the corporate system are there and they're there for a reason. 
and you will work yourself up to that lungs, up those rungs of ladders. And as you get into that initial job, if you can give 110%, maybe spend a little extra time before work and after work, and then volunteer like I did for driving officers around, volunteer for that job that nobody wants. One, the, the supervisors will see who you are, what you bring to the organization. They will trust in your hard work, but you will also learn something internally of yourself as I did needing a college degree. By approaching your career in this fashion, you'll quickly become apparent that your supervisors were probably in your place earlier in a few years ago, and they have moved up, and they will continue to move up. And so what you want to do is you want to show that your supervisors, that you are the hardworking individual, and you'll replace them. And then it becomes your job to coach, teach, and mentor the people under you so that they will replace you as you continue up the ladder. And trust me, if you all do that, you will perform very well. In closing, I hope these three simple lessons have a successful impact on your journey. And also what is, what is important is that I, standing up here before all of you, I am no smarter than any of you. The only difference between all of you and myself is my age, unfortunately. I was born at a, an earlier time, and so the opportunities that presented myself were available to me, as these same opportunities will be available to you as you continue to grow in your career, your profession, and ultimately on your journey. Again, congratulations on receiving your diplomas today. You have worked extremely hard, and you now have the proof with a diploma in your hand. I wish you all a wonderful journey, an end to your journey toward, but remember, it's the journey that matters in the end. God bless you. Aloha. General Logan, thank you for your generous spirit in providing such inspirational remarks for our graduates as they begin the new chapter of their lives. The degrees will now be conferred, followed by the individual recognition of each student. This is the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> President Gotanda, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have been recommended by the faculty to be awarded degrees appropriate to their work in rec recognition of their academic accomplishments subject to the completion of any outstanding requirements. Will all candidates for the associate degrees please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for associate degrees from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the state of Hawaii and by the authority granted the university's board of trustees, I hereby confer upon you the associate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> associate de degree candidates, please be seated. Thank you. Will all candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for baccalaureate degrees from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the state of Hawaii and by the authority granted the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor's degree candidates, please be seated. Will all the candidates for the master's degrees please rise? <laughs> Mr. President, I have the privilege of presenting the candidates who have qualified for master's degrees from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted by Pacific University by the state of Hawaii and by the authority granted the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. Congratulations. Master's degree candidates, please be seated. And for the first time, will the doctoral candidate please rise? Yeah. 
Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidate who is qualified for a Doctor of Nursing Practice degree from Hawaii Pacific University. By virtue of the charter granted Hawaii Pacific University by the State of Hawaii and by the authority granted the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon you the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto. Congratulations. And now it's time for the presentation of diplomas to our graduates by college. We will now present the graduates for the College of Business. Reading the names of graduates is Dr. Ken Rossi, a professor of organizational development and change. College Associate Dean, Dr. Harmyon Steinhaus, will assist President Kotanda with the presentation of the diplomas. The following students will be receiving degrees from the College of Business. The following students will be receiving the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Hanako Adachi, summa cum laude. Mandy Lee Asitio, cum laude. Carrie Ann Belisa. Felipe Baneche, cum laude. Kevin Allen Brown. Ronaldo S. Brew, summa cum laude. Han Shang Chang. Calvin Po Ying Chen. Joseph Corner. Mark A. Davis. Malin Jeanette Farrell Egg, cum laude. Ilan W. Funk, cum laude. Michael Emil Avapuhi O. Ikaika Kenny Johnson. Miley Ann Ho'oheno K. Keike Lee. Alana Lima, cum laude. Anna Lynn. Frank Walter Lonan Jr. Daisha Moir Lopez. Luis A. Luyo, magna cum laude. Peter, a correction, Jacob Peter Malak. Noel K.S. Mercado, magna cum laude. Clifford Thomas Miller, summa cum laude. Natalie May Lani Nishioka, cum laude. Veronica Andrasova, cum laude. Carlo Alejandro Amayan Paez, cum laude. Zen Roten, cum laude. Kelsey Lane Sandoval. Jonathan Covington Sawbell. <laughs> Jeffrey Adam Terrell. <laughs> Gora Elisa Tiemann, cum laude. <laughs> Jasmine Dale Viernes. 
Kelsey Margaret Wallace. <laughs> Chi Ken Wong. Tokoro Yoshida. Chu Hang Zhao. The following students will be receiving the degree Master of Arts in Organization Development and Change. Deborah Echevera. Danielle Kinney Kinney. Kathleen Gately Miranda with distinction. The following students will be receiving the degree Master of Business Administration. Lissandra Lissandro Solomon Aviles. <laughs> Donnell C. Bettis with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine Kanoelane Fuyuko Kauhane. <laughs> Samantha Elizabeth Pierre with distinction. <laughs> Javier Risco Garcia with distinction. The following students will be receiving the degree Master of Science in Information System. Xiao King Guo. Jacob Daniel Stedman. This concludes the students who will be receiving the degrees from the College of Business. now present the graduates for the College of Health and Society. Reading the names of the graduates is Dr. Christian Gloria, a professor of public health. College Dean Dr. Halavalu Vakalahi will assist President Gotanda with the presentation of the diplomas. And we are pleased to recognize the graduation of the first cohort of HPU's first doctoral degree program, the Doctor of Nursing Practice. The following students will be receiving degrees from the College of Health and Society. The following students will be receiving the degree of Doctorate of Nursing Practice. Sandra Kakeuchi. <laughs> Dr. Kathleen Berger, Chair of Sandra Sadako Kakeuchi's Project Defense Committee. Dr. Sandra Bourget Henry, Doctor of Nursing Practice Coordinator. And Dr. Pamela Smith, Chief Nursing Administrator will participate in the hooding of Sandra. Sandra's dissertation was entitled, quote, Improving the Care Management of Delirium in Hospitalized Older Adults, Impact of Education on Hospital Aids in the Role as a Sitter, unquote. And she successfully defended her thesis this past August. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jamaica Andres Agno, cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Agunoy, cum laude. Zyra May Agrade, cum laude. Shane Laakea Alpici, magna cum laude. Kaimi Ola Amaral, cum laude. Sophie Elaine Anderson, cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Elizabeth Afgar, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessel May Barrett, magna cum laude. Jordan Daniel Bachelor, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alexis Gardner Battle, magna cum laude. <laughs> Brandon Bradley Bello Jr., magna cum laude. <laughs> Brian Ross Bowman,
Marie Claire Bumanglag. Kristen Castillo Calamayan. Joseph Marin Corpus Carag. Maria Riza Rarama Castaneda, cum laude. Jamie Dadis Domingo. Charmaine Duldilao Dulig, magna cum laude. Mark Lopaka Ernst, magna cum laude. Leishel Joy Rabago Eugenio, cum laude. Jessica Garcia, cum laude. Georgia Leona Havens, magna cum laude. Nicole Palencia Ho. Virginia Ann Hudson, cum laude. Jaslyn Cam, cum laude. Shannon Karnowski. Ariana Bianca Knowles. Brandon K.F. Lee. Megan Elizabeth Mansheim, cum laude. <laughs> Melody Abrigo Mejia. Joanna Lee Miller, cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Ryan Miller. <laughs> Taylor Kikumi Miyashiro. Gretchen Baniaga Gomez Morales, cum laude. Darlene Echelar Palma, magna cum laude. Stephanie Louise Price. Sierra C. Ramo, cum laude. Jerome John Barreto Rutires, magna cum laude. Jasmine Nicole Sagaisai, cum laude. Erica Babe Sanchez, magna cum laude. Kiana Ryan Biano Santiago, cum laude. Suzanne Marie Stokes, summa cum laude. <laughs> Taylor Takano, magna cum laude. <laughs> Christine Galutan Tamayo, summa cum laude. <laughs> Rebecca Grace Tanberg, cum laude. <laughs> Michael J. Tanner. Sarah Kathleen Veal, cum, uh, summa cum laude. Charlene Villanueva, cum laude. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Charlene Bernardo Agut, cum laude. Queenie Undan Castro. Hiyahi Christelle Peters. Justin Fabricante Cuario. The following student will be receiving the degree of Master of Public Health. Brian Sarte with distinction. This concludes the students receiving degrees from the College of Health and Society.
We will now present the graduates for the College of Liberal Arts. Reading the names of the graduates is Dr. Linda, Le Linda Leerheimer, Chair of History and International Studies and a Professor of History and Humanities. College Dean Dr. Allison Goff will assist President Gotanda with the presentation of the diplomas. Uh, there's one more for the, for the Masters of Science in Nursing. So the following student will be receiving the degree of Master of Science in Nursing. Erica Shea Adcock. <laughs> the following students will be receiving degrees from the College of Liberal Arts. The following student will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Brittany Farah Bardsley Marcial, summa cum laude. Apollonia Jean Barnett. Nolan Clay Berenger. Daisy Lynn Antonio Batuyong. Connor C. Devine. Mary Carmen Felder. <laughs> Isabella Belen Flores. <laughs> Amanda H. Issa, cum laude. Dylan J. Light. Jacob Kainalu Lum Lung. Victor Stephen McDaniel II. Yeah. Dylan Robert Neer. Yeah. Jesus Ortega Pacheco. Yeah. Charlene Denise Paulino Leguizamon, cum laude. The following students will be receiving the degree of the Bachelor of Science. Kenneth Aaron Bjorn, cum laude. The following students will be receiving the degree of Master of Arts in Communication. Stephen James Gransky, with distinction. Mitchell Martinez, with distinction. Sina Ranch Olson, with distinction. The following students will be receiving the degree of the Master of Arts in Diplomacy and Military Studies. Darren John Newsma. The following student will be receiving the degree of the Master of Arts in Global Leadership and Sustainable Development. <laughs> Sierra Malia Vaughn. <laughs> this concludes the students receiving degrees from the College of Liberal Arts. We will now present the graduates for the College of Natural and Computational Sciences. Reading the names of the graduates is Dr. Randolph Goldman, Department Chair and Professor of Mathematics. College Dean Dr. Brenda Jensen will assist President Gotanda with the presentation of the diplomas. The following students will be receiving degrees from the College of Natural and Computational Sciences. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science. Christopher Brian Aranda. Mark Anthony Arcetier. Elisa Marie Bruno. Elena Grace Birai, magna cum laude. Christianka Callejas. 
Anaka Nisa Kana. Taylor Nicole Garner. Maxime Gate, magna cum laude. Sarah Lynette Johnson. Stephanie Rose Kennedy. Brooke Taylor Kinsey. Savannah Mayan Lawrence. Anissa Justine Lehang. Yun Li Lu, cum laude. Isaiah Kaholakula Gaspar Mina, cum laude. Alexis Jessica Merjanus. Brandon T. Murakami, cum laude. Anya Niusulu. Isabel Haley Star Pollock, cum laude. Abby Nicole Pruitt. Dumuthu Rana Singhe. Rachel Simone Santos. Shelby Nicole Scholten, cum laude. Giselle Protasio Timbabolan. <laughs> Douglas Jackson Vodner, cum laude. <laughs> Miley Emel Gianchan Villa Gomez. <laughs> David Scott Williams. The following student will be receiving the degree of Master of Science in Marine Science. Lauren Nicole Chamberlain. Kelsey Michelle Doughton. Alexander Dominic Villardo, with distinction. <laughs> Matthias Schachmann Sorensen. Sheena Claire Weller. Catherine Claire Wood with distinction. This concludes the students receiving degrees from the College of Natural and Computational Sciences. We will now present the graduates for the College of Professional Studies. Reading the names of the graduates is Dr. Topher Erickson, Senior Lecturer in Anthropology. College Dean Manny Segal will assist President Gotanda with the presentation of the diplomas. The following students will receive the degrees from the College of Professional Studies. The following students will be receiving the degree of Associate of Arts. Francis S. Augustin. Charlene Shante Hawkins. Quincy James Julian, with honors. The following student will be receiving the degree of Associate of Science. 
Akisha Rochelle Brown. Shakia Lucretia Josiah with honors. Sereya Lachey Lambooths. Juvenez Usen Lazo. Allison Makabinlar Laybag with honors. Kiana Christian Alexandria Middleton with honors. The following student will be receiving the degree of Associate in Supervisory Leadership. Kualole Gaston. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Trison Glenn Rivera, cum laude. Carlisa Denise Short. Marquel Shamar Steve. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Education. Kelsey Lynn Peterson, magna cum laude. Haley A. Turner, cum laude. The following student will be receiving the degree of Bachelor in Administration. Maurice D. Williams, cum laude. The following students will be receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science. Charles Warren Cordell, Jr., cum laude. Sabrina Monique Garcia. Angie C. Kearns, magna cum laude. Christian R. Porras, magna cum laude. Whitney Alexis Robinson. Lisa Leigh Diamond, Diamonique Taylor. <laughs> oh, magna cum laude. The following students will be receiving the degree of Master of Education in Educational Leadership. Candice Nicole Bauer with distinction. Tiffany M. A. Chaiko with distinction. Kit Yu Wong with distinction. The following students will be receiving the degree of Master in Public Administration. Joanna Capuano. Daniel Lewis Crossan. Amanda Keelan Helene Liggins. Melinda K. Manchi with distinction. Christy Ann Ramos. Osvaldo David Rosario with distinction. This concludes the students receiving degrees from the College of Professional Studies. Graduates, please rise for the recitation of the Alumni Pledge written by HPU student Casey Rain Kaloe Park, class of 2020. Leading you in the pledge will be your fellow alumnus who earned a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree in 2015, Avery Kuketa. Kuketa, who is the Development and Events Manager at Hawaii Theater, has been involved with our university in many ways, including serving as the President of the Hawaii Pacific University Alumni Council. Aloha, graduating class of 2019. On behalf of the Hawaii Pacific University Alumni Council, congratulations on your well-deserved graduation. The members of the Alumni Council enthusiastically welcome you 
to our university network of 45,000 plus alumni around the world. The Alumni Council was launched with one goal in mind, engaging with you, our newest members of the HP alumni who will go out into the world after today as global ready leaders who will make a difference in the communities we live in. To signify your official welcome to the Hawaii Pacific University alumni community, please repeat the alumni pledge after me. The words, uh, the words to the pledge are printed in your program. Please repeat after me. As an alumnus of Hawaii Pacific University, I pledge to take the meaningful values, lessons, and experiences I've received and use them to make a lasting and positive impact in our communities. I pledge to look closer at the issues and define our generation. To see further into why our actions matter. And to do more to ensure we leave this world better than we found it. I pledge to cherish the meaningful relationships I've built at HPU. and to continue building an active global society. I pledge to embrace the value of diversity in our community and to bring empathy, compassion, and a global awareness wherever life may take me. I pledge to preserve the traditional values of Hawaii, both in the islands and throughout the world. to act pono by upholding the righteousness and integrity in our community, to tend to my kuleana by taking responsibility for my actions and looking out for others, and to spread the message of aloha by showing endless compassion to all.